Welcome. My name is Daryl Miller, and I'm here today with Saurabh. Hey, Daryl. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Excellent. Today, we are going to talk about the query options that you can use when accessing the Microsoft Graph. So tell me, tell me about these query options. So query options is a way to control the amount of data that's coming back from the request that you're creating. Um, and it also helps uh, uh, you standardize. And you know, if you're dealing with one API, uh, talking with another API, it helps you uh, know that you can create a same type of response or request, and you can filter, you can get top 100 results, and so on and so forth. So it basically standardizes your, your request across the board uh, you know, under Graph. Okay. And how do I use these query options when I'm making the request? You use them uh, in your query, query string. That would be why they're called query options, yes. right? Yes, Excellent. Yeah. Well, let's get right into it, and let's see some examples of Absol how these work. Absolutely. So we're going to be using Graph Explorer uh, that you can get to from graph.microsoft.com. Uh, and then uh, we get in here, we try to do some requests. Uh, so the first one that we can look at is if you're trying to get a collection of users, you can do top equals 10. And this limits your response down to the number of uh, records in this collection is 10. The, the uh, first 10. The first 10, the first 10 in the collection. And then you can you can build on it by doing um, by adding skip. So you can have, Let's say if you went to me slash events, oops, me slash events, and then you can add a skip equals a dollar skip equals ten. So out of the first uh, records that it's going to return in that collection, you will skip the first ten and then move on to the next next ten here. So that's uh, like you know top and skip here. Uh, so, so that allows me to kind of page through yes, a yes, set it, of results. Yes, it does. Uh, so if you were to let's say find out about how many uh, how many contacts you have, uh, you can do me slash contacts and then you can do a uh, count equals true, and that tells you right here in your payload response that uh, data.count equals 34, which tells you you have, you have 34 uh, contacts in your list. So, um, so all these terms, top, skip, count, where did we come up with the names for so these? So these are, these are based on the OData conventions. So Graph underneath uh, uses OData, which is a standardized protocol. It's an ISO standard. Uh, and that's what it uses to uh, to communicate with all the APIs underneath it. So across all of the APIs in Microsoft Graph, everybody uses the same set of terms yes, yes. for these kind of operations. Absolutely. Well, yes. that makes it easier to learn. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, so the next one we can look at is select. So if you were doing a request to uh, users, and this returns a collection, but if you wanted to only get the uh, ID and the display name, yeah, because users is a big entity. It has yes. a lot of information yes, in yes. it. Yes, so you want to limit your response. And in case of a mobile user scenario, this would be really helpful if you're just building a list of the names. And if you did this, this gives you an ID and a display name uh, of all the users in, in that collection. Um, similarly, you can do filtering. So if I were to go and say um, dollar filter equals starts with display name and I can say a letter or anything that I wish and it's going to return me all the display names which are starting with A. So in this case, uh, all of the all the responses which have display names starting with A show up here. So this works like in a SQL query, like a where clause, like yes. so I'm able to reduce that list of yes. items. Yes, absolutely. And can I combine these things? Can I do top and filter? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can combine top, filter, count, depending on what API uh, supports. Uh, and uh, you, you can combine any of these together. Uh, the other one that you can also, I would like to show you, uh, that you can also use is order by. So if we went all the way back here, and it says me slash events, and if you said order by um, created date time, let's say. So this orders by default by an ascending order by created date time. Uh, the response, uh, the events that I had. Uh, what you can also do is if you, let's say, wanted this to be ordered in the descending order, you just add descending here, and it orders in the descending order. I, I guess that's kind of really important when you're using things like top and skip, yes. is that you keep the same consistent order by in order to get the same yes. a, a consistent set of pages. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the next one that you can do is uh, in graph how resources are connected to each other. 
uh, and those uh, th those connections are called navigation properties. So you can, right. or that's how we express relationships. So you can navigate from one relationship to the other uh, by doing expands. And that's, that's the query option that we're going to look into. So if I went into me slash drive uh, slash root, and then I can expand all its children uh, to see what I have underneath in there. So, so let me first actually show you, if I back out of here, uh, root drive gives me uh, this response. But now if I add expand equals children, and I forgot my power sign here, so Taking so now I'm getting the root object yes. and all of the entities that are found if you follow that navigation property. Absolutely. absolutely. Okay, so, so all yeah. the children of yes. that. Yes, all the children of the drive, so which is a collection right here, and that is expanded in line in the response that you got. So in a way, I'm getting to describe the shape of the thing that I want to get back from yes. the API. Yes, absolutely. That's very cool. Absolutely. Uh, and the next one we can look at here. So if we go back to the time when we did uh, users top, um, if you did top 10, uh, you get something called a next link. This helps you. Uh, the, the underlying principle of this is it's using skip. But uh, you would benefit greatly if you use this next link to uh, get to your, the next set of records that you're looking for. So if, you, if I copied everything down from here uh, and then pasted it up in the uh, URI here, that would give me all the next set of records that, uh, that, are, that are part of this query. So now I can do that paging using that top and skip without having to keep track of where yes. I am? Yes. You did all the work for me. Yes, I like absolutely. that. I like that. Um, so yeah, so these are these are some of the top uh, like you know query options that uh, that you can find, you can use, and you can combine all of these together. That's really excellent. Thank you very much this, for showing us these things. Now, where, if I want to find out more and see more details about this, where where would I go? You can go to graph Microsoft graph .microsoft mm -hmm. and uh, there's a section using the API which talks about there's a, a query options page which talks about all the usages. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much indeed.